Alright. More adventures. We are up here a couple miles. Eh, maybe not even that yet. <clears throat> up here about a mile or so. Up Eagle Creek here in Oregon. It's one of like the most beautiful hikes anybody can take. Bring water. You can go as far as you want, but it goes really far. It goes about 12 miles up. So, full round trip, you could be doing about 20 miles. I'm only going to go about probably four to six, so probably five miles up or so. Yeah, it is beautiful out here. Oh my gosh, look at this burn damage. Wow. Yeah, a couple years ago, there was a huge fire through the gorge. And you can just see all the burn damage on the other side, too. Should just be straight green. But yeah, out here, getting it done. This bird completely down to the. Oh my gosh. Every once in a while, you gotta do a double back, check your surroundings, because big cats are the most prominent apex predator out here. And uh, there have been, within the last couple of years, a few incidences of people being attacked by them. So, it's not like humans are not off the menu for them. And if you run into a big one, they probably are gonna weigh about as much as you as well well over a hundred pounds so yeah so you know don't be too quiet so you don't sneak up on one and then every once in a while just check around you check up you know because they're more quiet than you are I am putting a pretty good pace on as you guys can see not jogging, just walking. Gotta get it done. <sighs> Lucked out, this weather's been super crappy up here in Oregon. We get like a little spot of decent weather and then just rains. And it rains and it pours. Today, Mostly overcast, a few stray showers. It's not too bad. Oop. People coming down. Hello. Another day in paradox. So that is what we call improper hiker etiquette. You're supposed to stop for the people going up. Let the people going up pass you. And then you continue, but it's okay. Descent is easier than ascent. Let's see if I can zoom in on that fall down there. Oh yeah. Jacket's all slipping off. Oh, yeah, there's a little bit of a better view. Yes. So I won't get my whole hike up here on this video, or it'd be, you know, an hour long. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and take a little break or something. Press pause after I get a little further up. <laughs> Wildlife out here in the plant life is awesome. 
There's wildflowers everywhere. There are little creatures everywhere, birds everywhere. So we're coming up on the first. This isn't actually a bridge. Get outside. Go adventure. Smell the fresh air. Live, you know, L I V I N. Gotta be out living. Oh yeah, look at how pretty this is. Want to be careful, don't want to slip. There you go. It's okay to take a little stop every once in a while, enjoy the scenery. Keep on going. Keep those burners on. Some recent deadfall. They do a decent job of clearing it out as it comes down up here. Forest Park Rangers. What the fuck was that? Heard something. Good thing I got my friend uh, Schmitty Wesson with me. <laughs> when the going gets bad, you can always rely on your best friend, Smitty Wesson. <laughs> one of the first campsites up here. I believe this is Punch Bowl Falls. Right? Yep, lower Punch Bowl. Lower Punch Bowl Falls. <laughs> we are up here, you guys. Straight up here in the mountain. Does not get much more rural. I don't fuck see that rural, rural. You know what I'm saying? More rural than this. You love to see the water. Oh yeah. Up here with the clouds. Luckily, it's not raining. If it did start to rain, I'm carrying my rain jacket with me. A bottle of water. Ooh, look at that. Mmm. Look at this. Sketchy piece of... Oh, yeah. On video, it doesn't really do it justice, but definitely wouldn't want to fall down that. That would, uh... Be a good case of a uh, broken face. <laughs> okay, every once in a while, I'll do a little checky poo up and around. Make sure you don't see a face looking at you or some eyes. For the untrained eye, just look for movement. Any movement. <clears throat> wouldn't really want to get into it with a big ass four-legged cat up here. We made it past Punch Bowl. Four mile bridge is about another 
a mile and a half, I think, up. We'll probably take a break there. Here's another person. Level ground, I'll let them by. Oh, thank you. Is it raining up there? But not too bad? All right. Thank you. You too. Yeah, right now the trail is nice and dry, but just a little bit of rain. That'll all go away. And up here, this weather changes fast, literally walking straight through a valley. It'll like funnel <laughs> all of the shit weather right here at you. Here we go. So here's one of the main falls up here. Sounds like it's actually got enough water going on to get a good look of it. In the summertime, you don't get to see too much. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Here is Upper Punch Bowl, I believe. And in the summertime, when it's not all white watered like that, you can, there's actually a trail that goes down. And you can go down there and you can swim. Pardon me, brother. Thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah, that is a good, good shot right there, though. Oh, yeah. Right. Keep those burners going. So we got 12 minutes in. I told myself I'd go at least a half hour straight. No stopping. Oh yeah, now we're getting up to the top, though. Oh yes, so here's the first bridge I think I was talking about. This isn't the main bridge that has a, it's a huge drop, like 500 feet probably straight down. Maybe not that much, but about 300 feet straight down. Not this one, this is the first bridge. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Quick little peek. Get on this bridge here. Oh yeah. All right, keeping on. I actually was supposed to do this hike with somebody, but they told me to go, so say less. <laughs> oh yeah. When I get up here to that other bridge for sure. Definitely a smart idea to take the jacket off. Up here it's so humid. It's not very cold today. Just keep on going. Got us a couple other people coming down. Some of the plant life out here. Go ahead and oh, they pulled over for me. Proper hiker etiquette. Hello, hello. 
Is it still dry up there? Uh, well, yeah. not raining. Oh, no. You just got that crossing. It's like easy. Okay. There you go. I got one in case. <laughs> Have a good one. It's always nice to chat with the people. And the more people, especially, you know, as you do hikes like this by yourself, you know, you fall off that, you're dead. You know, the more people you interact with, the more that they know, yes, this person was up there. How's it going? So that way, you know, if the guy who's wearing tan bottoms and a dark top doesn't ever come home, they'll be like, oh yeah, we saw him at this point. Send that search and rescue. Oh, I'm getting a little out of breath. Those burners are on. A little sweaty underneath the main layer here. And uh, I'm in pretty good shape. Not that I'm, I don't like to brag or anything. But uh, definitely in pretty good shape. You guys can see it's, this is why this hike is so pretty though. It's a pretty open trail. Constant spring water all everywhere you go. There's little waterfalls. It's right next to the main. I don't even know. I think Eagle Creek is only, it's yeah, just Eagle Creek. I don't think it runs into anything. Maybe the Sandy. But I think it goes straight into the Columbia. So Eagle Creek runs from the top of the rainwater and glaciers. And it runs all the way down the canyon, straight to the Columbia River. So this is technically freshwater source. Some more people and a doggy. Hello. Hey there. Oh yeah. So we keep on keeping on. The trail switches up to some bigger rocks. Hello, hello. Oh, yeah. Another day in paradox. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that burn damage. Oh my gosh. All of these trees are just charred black. And the, the big ones to the small ones, they're just like black. Black. <laughs> I'm definitely getting a sweat going. I'll have to pound some water here in a sec. All right. Oh, yeah, there we go. You can see way up the canyon right here. Some beautiful plant life. Hope this doesn't turn into one of those videos. Someone, it's my last video ever. Just kidding. Like I said, got my friend Schmitty Weshit with me. And I don't think anyone can run faster than uh, those things. Or an animal for that point. Definitely kicking in a couple sweats on the face. Camera doesn't really do justice, but it is uphill. <laughs> we are constantly going up.
Like I said, I want to get at least a couple miles in. Did not come all this way for nothing. All right. 20 minutes in. We're gonna have to I think if I'm gonna make it to that bridge, I'm gonna have to turn the burners up a little more. Even though I'm already pushing, I can push a little harder. So let's go ahead and do that. So I definitely want to get to that bridge. I don't know how much further it is. Doing my little check my six, check the left up. There's nothing down there. All right, keep on going. It's burn damage. Tree is just hollow. Yeah, this is, uh, I mean, you know, the truth is, is Oregon's one of the most, oh, look at that, oh my gosh, that's pretty, one of the most beautiful states here in the lower 48, but, uh, you gotta be willing to endure some wet, because nine months out of the year, it's raining. It's May 5th, Cinco de Mayo, and I mean, you know, it's, it's, Overcast. Straight overcast. Grounds are wet. It's been sprinkling on and off. You really don't get much sunlight here. Except for just summer. Besides that, if it's fall, it's raining. If it's winter, it's raining. If it's spring, it's definitely raining. Oh, here's the bridge. All right, is this it? I don't know if this is the bridge I'm talking about. Hello. Um, I think, I'm not entirely sure though. I don't think this is the bridge I'm talking about. No, it's not. Damn it. We got a ways more to go, guys. Hello, hello. Again, when you're solo missioning, say hi to everybody. More people that can confirm where you are, the better. This is a bridge, but it's not the bridge I was talking about. I got another, another little bit. Oh, is it? Is it? Ah. I mean, that's a drop for sure. Maybe like 80 feet. It's not the one I'm thinking of. I want to make it. We're going to keep on pushing on, guys. I'm actually probably a couple more hundred feet from actually being in the cloud line. And at that point, I'm definitely going to stop because then you just get soaked. I don't really want to get all wet. But we'll see. We'll see how much further we go. there was fresh rain up here all the dew and all the plants are 
saturated. Everything's drooped down. Oh yeah. Just if you take a good look. You can actually see the cloud line on that middle ridge straight straight ahead. So we can actually see some snow caps up there too. Ooh, look at this. Bark this tree. It's all soft. Yeah, let's see if I can get a good picture for you guys. Yep. See, look, there's some snow caps up there. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Good. Oh, your dog is so cute. <laughs> That's got to be so far for the little guy. So yeah, if you look at that mid ridge there, there's a snow cap on it. And that is about right where the cloud clouds are. We're going to keep going. I got it. What's that? Maybe a thousand feet, possibly. Maybe about 500, 2,000 feet more I can go before I'm in the cloud line. We are going to keep on going. We got about a couple more minutes. I'm going to have to turn around anyways. Trying to make good time. Don't want to be up here and it gets dark. Because uh, <clears throat> it'd be pitch black out here. Like, you can't see in front of your face. <laughs> Alright, switch up the hands for a little bit. Alright. Well, shoot, guys. I don't know if we're going to make it. I don't know if we're going to make it. I think it's right up here, though. I really want to make it to that bridge. Especially so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, look at this. Just clearing. As we get to the top here. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Another person's. Hello, hello. Another day, another dollar. Hey puppy. Yes. All right, what, what floor have we got here? 28 and change. Well, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and press pause, so that way I can see if I can make it here up to this uh, bridge. But I don't know if I'm going to, to be honest. So we're gonna hit the pause on this, and we'll see what happens here in the next few moments. If you guys, it'll be split second. I'll just be right back. But for me, it's going to be a mm, little bit of a trek. So I'll see you guys in just a sec. Just figure I'd bring you guys back here for this little view. It really is pretty up here. All right. So we're going to keep on keeping on, see if we can get to that bridge. I don't know how much further it is at this point. I don't even know how far I've gone. So, we're just going. There's only one direction out here. So we're just going. Ooh, there you go. Before I pause out for you guys, here's one of those natural springs that I'm talking about. It's running straight off the mountain into Eagle Creek. Guide rope so you know you don't slip and die because no one wants to slip and die, especially straight down that. Eh, that'd be uh, no fun. No fun at all. Alright guys, I'm going to press pause again. I'll see you in a, for you guys a split second, but for me, who knows. Alright. Alright guys. Um, 
I don't think I'm gonna make it to the bridge. I think I'm gonna call it at this point. It's a really, really beautiful sight. But, uh, we're pretty far in. I got a long ways back. So, uh, I think I'm gonna call it. I think we're gonna say that's good. We made it this far of the video. I'm sorry I didn't make it to the bridge. But, uh, I made it pretty far up here. I'm gonna go up to the next little crest here and I think I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, that's that is good. It would suck if it was literally just right around this bend, though, you know. It's not when I get up here around this little corner piece and see maybe if I can see the bridge at all. Get around this next hump here. See what we're dealing with. Oh my gosh, look at all that buildup of the deadfall. It's insane. All the trees that land in the creek and then flow and then they all get blockaded up. Well, you can see how high the water does come because those trees would not be leaning like that unless the water was that high and then it comes down that's insane like that means this water be oh yeah you can see it in the rip right there wow that'd be absolutely insanity well, here we go coming up on some Beautiful decadent waterfalls. There we go. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Ooh, yes, look at that. Now that is pretty. You can see through the tree line a little bit. There's another waterfall that's running right through there. It's pretty hard to see on the camera. Wow. Look at that like whirlpool going on. That is awesome. All right. I'm gonna get up here so I can give you guys a little bit of a better snapshot of this. And then we're gonna go ahead and call it. super humid up here oh yeah that is awesome straight cliff like right down see down let me come around this bend and see if I see this bridge 